Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to feature this interesting device called the Sliding Tube Mousetrap. I've never seen this style mousetrap before, and I'm really curious to see how it works. It was first patented by Leonard West of Macon, Montana in January of 1993, so it's been around a while. It's produced by the Dell West Manufacturing Company, and the design is real simple. It's just a rubber band here, and then two pieces of molded plastic that fit in on each other to form a sliding tube. The front here has a big hole. That's for the mouse's head. They stick it in there to get the bait, and when the mouse trap closes, it forms a sideways plastic guillotine that closes right on their neck and the mouse dies very quickly. On the bottom here, if you flip it over, you'll see a little hole and there's a groove on the inner tube. What you do is you put a little bait in there. I like to use a pretzel with some peanut butter on it and that holds the two uh, pieces of plastic apart. And then when the mouse comes in and pulls that little piece of bait out of that hole, it releases it and they slide together. Now the rubber band is what is the killing force for this trap. There's four little grooves on the top and bottom of both tubes. So we'll just slide that rubber band right there on the grooves on top and bottom. And you can see right there, quite a bit of force. To set this trap, you just pull it apart, put in your little bait here. We'll put in the pretzel right in that hole and then I'll let it stay. And then that's ready to go. The mouth will come in there, chew that little bait, pull it out and close right there. Now I really want to test this out and I'm going to set up motion cameras in the barn. The blue color is a little dark and might not show as well so I also got a yellow one which should be clear in the night vision on the cameras and we can see what's happening. There's quite a few different colors. You can get clear, green, you can get orange, red. So if you care about colors there's quite a few different options but a real simple design. So let's go set this mouse trap up in the barn and see if mice will come in there, get the bait and if we can catch them and it works as well as it says it does. So let's go test out the sliding tube mousetrap. Last night we caught a mouse in our sliding tube mousetrap. The mouse went in there to get that little bait and when it pulled it out, uh, the rubber band pulled those two pieces of plastic closed and it closed right on its neck and the mouse died. To release this mouse, all you gotta do is pull them apart, give it a little shake, and uh, you can put the bait back in and set it again. A really cool design, simple. I like these odd little mouse traps I haven't seen before and especially when they work the first time. A good little trap.